Welcome to, to Enable. I'm going to um, demonstrate how to install uh, this application onto your desktop so you can access it directly from a, a desktop icon. What you'll notice is this is we are in an internet uh, browser so we have um, you can see the web address that we're accessing and our application is running within that browser. Now what we can do is we can actually uh, in install this as a desktop icon and we do that by right clicking on, on the application. So you can literally right click anywhere on the application and it comes up with install application onto this computer. So if I click install application onto this computer, it's going to say, do you want to install it? And I, I obviously have to agree to install it. And what it's going to then do is it then opens up a, it opens up the application. It is in fact installed. Okay, so I'm, I'm actually using two screens, but what it does is it, it loads this icon onto your desktop. And if you double click on this icon, it will then open up this version of the application. So you can see the login screen is, is somewhat different and you can even register from the screen and you'll notice that the register screen is somewhat different. Okay, so it's actually an application like Word or any other application that's sitting on your computer. And if I log into the application, and I'm going to log in as, as an administrator, um, you can see the look of the application is very similar to the online version, the in-browser version. So this is the in-browser version, and this is the out-of-browser version, is, is how we refer to it. So everything is identical, except for the fact that you don't have to open your browser, you just can merely access it from, from an, a desktop icon. And you might, might ask, why is it important? And the reason it's important is that because we're launching it from a desktop icon, we are able now to begin to start accessing local content. So what this means is that when I start to play a video through my learning or to download a PDF document, it's in fact not downloading it off the web. And accessing online content is quite possible at home if you've got a half decent internet connection. But uh, certainly in, in rural spaces where the internet is bad, online delivery of content is not great. And at a school where you've got multiple users trying to access online content, it becomes a real problem uh, because the bandwidth is insufficient, especially in, in, in South Africa. So by loading this program into a learning center or setting your school up as a learning center where in your school all of the resources are hosted locally on a, on a device, you will save significant bandwidth. You will improve the access to online content tremendously for students and teachers. And um, it suddenly makes uh, an application, an e-learning application relevant uh, in spaces which, uh, and especially in, in the bulk of South African schools, where access to internet is, is, is not great. And, I, and I'm not talking about urban, well-connected schools, I'm talking about the majority of schools which are not in that space. So, so that is how you install uh, the desktop icon. and. Um, in a later video, you will see how to set up a hub. But to set up a hub, you obviously need to uh, contact us beforehand. But uh, we will then take you through the process of, of, of setting up a hub, which is, is basically um, setting up a learning center where you host the content at your school. And if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to contact us. Um, our email address is on our website. Thank you.